I'm gonna be showing you the five most used effects from the Stoke Twins videos here on YouTube. We're gonna show you how to animate money to count up and track into your scene. How to animate light sweeps to highlight an object, a person, or a thing. Incredible motion tracking that's gonna let you turn someone into an angel or essentially track anything to their body like this or this or this. The incredible Stoke Twin glow pop, but more specifically how to open up something and get hit by God rays. How to 3D track animated dash lines into your scenes. Maybe to show off how big a TV is or where a room inside a wall is going to be. Are you ready to learn how to edit like the Stoke Twins in After Effects? And this incredible tutorial is brought to you by my sugar daddy, Squarespace. So you can see here in After Effects, I'm gonna start with the effect where if you open up something, you are just hit with beautiful god rays and something so glowy. They use that here in the Stoke Twins videos and it's so freaking easy, guys. I'm about to blow your mind. So I'm actually gonna come up to the top here and grab the Roto Brush tool and I'm going to select on the trunk. And this might sound a little silly, but we are literally just going to mask out the inside of the trunk. I'm just gonna go over frame by frame. You can see here I have the blacks of the trunk selected. And you can see right here, I have the trunk perfectly masked out and ready to go. And once you've masked something out with the roto brush, you'll come down here where it says freeze and click on that to lock in your mask. And so I'll just duplicate this footage really quick because now it's just a mask. And on the bottom layer, I'm going to delete the roto brush tool. I'll name this top layer trunk glow and then the bottom layer slate. So to achieve this effect, we're gonna come up to the effects and presets and I'm gonna type in the effect fill. I'm gonna drag fill and I'm gonna bring it on top of our mask. So you can see here, our trunk is just red. Now what we're gonna do in the effect controls, we're actually going to change the red to white. So now you can see we have this white solid inside the trunk. Now, if you don't have this plugin already, I don't know what you're doing with your life because it's a free plugin. I'll link it in the description below. But in effects and presets, we're gonna type in God Rays. Now, this is the best effect literally on earth. Watch what happens. When I put it on this layer, it creates God Rays. And I'm gonna come to the effect controls and click on position. And I'm gonna change the position of these rays to be shooting out however I want. This plugin is amazing because you can see here, it will automatically wrap around your character. And so let's watch that back really quick. You can see the second she starts opening this up, the light starts shooting out and it's so freaking cool and incredible. So with the God Rays effect, to make this even cooler is in the effect controls, we can actually crank up the length to be super long. I'm changing the length to 6,000 here. And if I move the position, you can see all the different ways I can move the light to be shooting out of the trunk. And with Decay, you can just change how thick the light is shooting out um, throughout the entire scene. So I'll crank the Decay up a little bit. So now if we watch that back after we've increased the length of the rays, you can just see how incredible it is. It just instantly fills up the screen with God rays and glowiness. And let's say we wanna change like the color of this glow. All we gotta do is go back to fill. And let's say maybe we wanna change it to like yellow. And so now it's like she's opening a treasure chest and there's gold inside. And that is how you make a cool glowy animation like the freaking Stoke Twins. And then the next effect the Stoke Twins use all the time is animating 3D tracked dashed lines into their scenes. They'll use it to show showcase the barrier between a room. They'll use it to show the space between somebody and an object, maybe how big something is on the wall. The line effect is incredible, and I'm gonna show you today how to use it in the 3D tracked sense, where you can showcase where a window, a wall, an object is with a 3D tracked dashed line. So in After Effects, the first trick is clicking on our clip, going over here to the right, hitting the tracker panel, and we're going to track camera. When it's done tracking, you'll see all your colorful tracking points and you'll just select a target that's the flattest against the wall that you want to put your dashed line and you're gonna right click on this target and you're gonna click create null and camera so here you can see that your null is tracked to the area that we're gonna put our little barrier so what you're gonna do is make sure you're selected on nothing come up to the pin tool and you're gonna create a pinpoint you'll see down here in the layers panel it's create a shape layer I'll actually just rename this to animated line and what I'm going to do is parent and link link it to this track null, and then on the animated line layer, we are going to turn it 3D. So we'll grab our pinpoint that we created, and then we'll just make a line. I'm just going to trace the archway here on this cool little archway. And of course, this is important. Let's say you started creating a shape layer, but you got something that looked like this. You can just come up to the top where it says fill and you'll see fill options right here. We're just gonna select none. So you're just left with a stroke. You can see that this line is now tracked to our archway. 
So freaking gorgeous. So I'm gonna pull up the layers panel here and show you the magic. So if you drop down your line layer, you'll see contents and under shape, we're gonna select stroke. And under stroke, right here, we're gonna select dashes. And then if we go to the right, you'll see right next to dashes is this plus and minus. We're gonna hit this plus button to, if you look, create little lines. You'll see the dashes by default at 10. We'll just crank those up to make lines however big you would like. These look nice and you can see right here I have a little bit of an awkwardness. So if you need to redo your lines at all, all you gotta do is click on your shape layer, grab the pin tool, and then just readjust your point like this. So make a small adjustment. So if we watch that back, you can see we have this great line animation stuck to our archway. Now to make them animated and moving like in the Stoke Twin videos, what we're gonna do in the dashes part in your layers panel here, we're actually gonna create a keyframe for offset. And the keyframe we just created is zero. We're actually gonna drag that to the very end of our composition. And then we're gonna go to the very beginning of our composition and I'm just gonna type in 3000. And so now when you go through your composition, the offset is constantly moving. So now our dashed lines are moving during this whole animation. You can bring these offset keyframes close together if you're not actually using the entire length of the clip. So they're moving a little faster like this here. And now in the Stoke Twins videos, you'll see that these lines get animated into the scene. They're just not already there. So the way that you animate these into the scene is very easy. So in the layers panel, you'll see contents. And right across from that is this button, Add. We're gonna click on this little white arrow and we're gonna go to the effect right here called Trim Paths. And we're gonna click on that. And you'll see under Trim Paths, there's an end thing that you can click on. We're gonna create a keyframe for end. And then we're gonna go left from that keyframe and we're just going to bring end down to zero. And if we watch that back, you've animated your line into the scene and it's moving and it's 3D tracked and it's simply just freaking gorgeous. And if you wanna spice this animation up, if you go to your effects and presets and type in the effect glow, we can come down here to the stylized folder and put a glow on top of this line. You know what, I'm gonna change the line color to green. I'll crank up the radius on this glow and I'll duplicate this glow once and I'll turn down the exposure on the second one. So now we have these glowing green lines that animate into your scene. And this is endlessly customizable because I can continue to change the stroke width so these can be really thick, chunky lines or really thin lines. You can always add more dashes so the dashes are way bigger and fewer like this. Or you can bring your dash count very low so you have like a million dashes like this here. That just looks incredible. And that is the magic of animating dashed lines just like the Stoke Twin videos. The next effect is so epic. It's their money counter that's 3D tracked in like a super epic way. And what I'm gonna teach you is how to animate the counter and make it look this cool. They use this effect a lot with a speed ramped clip. So here I have a speed ramp of a drone shot into Chicago. Let's go over to the right, click on your tracker panel, click on your clip and select track camera. Go to the point in your speed ramp or your clip where you want the money to be. I'll select this target right here, right click, and we're gonna do create text and camera. And we're just going to use our rotation arrow to bring the text where we want it. So if we watch this back, you can see the text is perfectly tracked into our speed ramp. So in effects and presets, we're gonna type in the effect slider and you're gonna see slider control. We're gonna grab that effect and put it on top of our text layer. Okay, so this is the magic part. So we're gonna twirl down our text layer and you'll see text. We're gonna swirl that down and right here, source text. You're just gonna copy and paste this expression. This expression turns your text into a counter with a money sign and it has commas. It's in the description below. So what we're going to do is we're gonna hold alt and click on the source text right here and we're just going to copy and paste this entire expression and you'll see what happens your text turns into a zero with a dollar sign but if you click on your text layer now that you have the slider control watch this you can crank this up and it's a animatable money counter I'll type in 1000 it's automatically going to give me a 1000 with a comma and the money sign I'll create a keyframe on the slider control and then over time I'll just type in like 8,000. And between those two keyframes, it's going to count up to your money amount. It's so freaking cool. Okay, so we're going to use the speed ramp part of the clip for the amount going up. So I'm actually going to start my money amount at 500,000. And by the time the speed ramp stops right here, I'll create my second 
keyframe on this slider control and I'll do one million. Of course, whatever your biggest number is in this animation, will just come up to the character panel and scale it to what's going to look best aesthetically in the scene. So now during our speed ramp, the money counter goes up until it's a million. This just looks incredible. Now to add that Stoke Twin magic, what we're going to do is create a black stroke on top of this white text. This looks great. And then effects and presets, we're gonna type in the effect bevel alpha. And we're gonna put bevel alpha on top of our text layer and we're just gonna crank up the edge thickness. You can see what's happening here is I'm making the text look a little bit more 3D. So this is with it, this is without it, this is with it. This just looks way nicer. Bing. And then in effects and presets, I'll type in glow and we'll drop that on top. Well, I'll crank up the glow radius until we get something cool like this. So now we have this gorgeous money counter animation and it looks beautiful. One final touch that they do is by the time it reaches the max number, it will do a little glow pop. So in effects presets, I'll type in curves, throw that on top of my text layer. And right before it turns 1 million, I'm gonna create a keyframe for the curves right here. When it hits 1 million, I'm gonna drag this curves up like this so we have this little glow pop. And over like four seconds, I'm just gonna come back to curves and hit reset. So you can see when it hits 1 million, it has that beautiful little glow pop. And of course, a lot of the times where they're having these huge money pop-ups, there's literal money that's falling from the sky. I'll link where you can get these money assets in the description below. So you can just drop in a money asset. And here we have a classic Stoke Twin animation. Our next effect is called Light Sweep. But here are examples of this effect in their videos. It's basically a quick flash of a light sweep that highlights an item or a thing or a person. It's very cool. And of course, they use it a lot in these money animations. So in effects and presets, we're gonna type in a light sweep and let's drag it on top of our text layer. For now, I'm going to get rid of our bevel and glow effects just so we can focus on light sweep. If you click on light sweep, you'll see over here in the effect controls, you can click on the center and wherever you put the center, you can see this little glowing line. What we're going to do in the effect controls, it just increase the width and the sweep intensity so it's really bright like this. So now you can see what's going to happen is wherever you move the center, there's gonna be this gorgeous light sweep. I'm just gonna change the angle to kind of match perspective. So you can see in the effect controls, there's a direction slider, so you can move it however you'd like. So what we're gonna do is bring the center off the asset, so over here where it's no longer affecting our edges. We're gonna create a keyframe for center, and then over a few seconds, we're just gonna grab the center again and bring it to the end and past our asset. So if we watch it back between those two keyframes, it looks like this. But to make this really cool, Cool and pop, we're gonna select the two center keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, and easy ease. And in the curves graph, we're just going to start it slow like this. So it starts slow and then gets fast according to this curve here. Doesn't that just look incredible? So now what we can do is right after our money counter hits 1 million, we'll then bring these two light sweep keyframes to hit as soon as it turns 1 million. So we get a combo effect of it hitting 1 million and then we get this really cool and stylistic light sweep, gorgeous. And if we watch all of this together, we have the most perfect money animation ever. And now I'm gonna show you how to do motion tracking, just like the Stoke Twins, where you can get something like this here in After Effects, where you see Ashley is tracked onto her head, but I'm also freaking turning her into an angel because the wings and the halo are tracked onto her body perfectly. They use these motion tracking effects all the time to showcase an arrow that's like stuck to someone's head. And the funniest one is always when they track these angel wings onto somebody like this clip here. So for this one, I wanna put the angel wings behind her. So we're gonna to have to mask our character out is here in After Effects. We'll come up to the Roto Brush tool at the top, click on it, double click on your footy, and you know, you're just gonna to have to mask your character out. So we have our lovely lady masked out. We'll just duplicate this clip and on the bottom clip, we'll get rid of our Roto Brush tool. And of course, we gotta rename our layers. So this top one is mask, the bottom layer is slate. So now is the super, super important part. So we're gonna click on our original footage, this right here, and over in the right, we're gonna go back to the tracker panel, and instead of track camera like we have done a few times, we're gonna do track motion. And to motion track someone properly, we wanna find a spot that has high contrast. What I found for this girl is this little section between her undershirt and her hoodie right here, where there's this like really defined black spot, worked great. So you wanna track something like that,
that where it's a fixed position on your person. So over in the tracker panel, we're just gonna hit analyze forward right here. And you can see this, this part on our hoodie is tracking so freaking flawlessly, it's just sticking right there. And so now what we're gonna do to apply this tracking data into our footage is we're gonna come up to layer, new, and we're gonna grab null object. And in the tracker panel, we're gonna hit edit target, and I'm gonna select this null, which is layer 10 null two. I'm gonna hit okay, back in the tracker panel, apply, and then okay again. You're gonna see this red box that is perfectly tracked to her hoodie. So I'll show you the website I keep getting these assets from is productioncrate.com. This is where the Stoke Twins are getting their assets as well. Luckily for you guys, the Halo and the Wings is actually a free asset on this website. I will link these in the description below so anyone can download these for free. So I'm just gonna type in Wings. You can see right here, these are the wings that I'm using. I'm just going to download these wings here and then I'll type in Halo. And you see we got this Halo here, another free asset. So we have our asset here in After Effects and I'm just going to drag it into our scene. And since we masked this girl out, we're gonna put the wings behind the mask and we're just going to scale them up and then we're gonna grab the parent and link tool of these wings and then attach it to the null object. So the wings are gonna pop out and they're gonna stay tracked to her body. So I can bring in this golden halo and I will resize it to be, you know, above her head like this and I'll grab the parent and link tool and connect it to this null object. So now she has a halo and angel wings. And basically like any good Stoke Twin animation, if I come up to effects and presets and type in glow, we will add that to our assets. And so this is a frequently used effect in the Stoke Twin videos. They're turning themselves into angels with motion tracking. But this is obviously not the limit to motion tracking. Uh, you saw in my example earlier, you can grab the text tool and I'll just do a name tag like Ashley. I can make the Ashley text real big, put it above her head and I can grab the parent and link tool and attach it to the null as well. So she's got these angel wings tracked to her back, the halo to her head and Ashley above her head. So motion tracking just allows you to do so much with your shots. All right guys, now you know all the After Effects tricks that the Stoke Twins use to make their videos engaging. Smash that thumbs up button if you want a part two to this video so I can teach you even more After Effects tricks from the Stoke Twin videos. And if you have any questions about the motion graphics that I showed you in this video, leave them in the comment section below. I will respond to everybody. And of course, it's time to throw it to my amazing sponsor, Squarespace. I have to introduce to you Squarespace's design intelligence. You might not know this about me, but I have the biggest collection of vintage life magazines in the world. And I want to create a site showing off this American history in a really pretty way. And so with Squarespace's design intelligence, I can create a website that looks perfect and vibey. So with these vintage magazines, maybe some cool vintage looking shapes to show off some covers a nice color scheme that really matches the dark tones of these magazines. And if I need some assistance, they have award-winning templates. So I actually have a lot of duplicates of these vintage magazines and I wanna sell them as collector's items to other people. And what's amazing about that is Squarespace has online stores you can create. So if you have products, whether that's jewelry, plants, vintage magazines, you can create a beautiful online store with Squarespace. And even better, Squarespace Payments is endless. They have all the popular payment methods like Klarna and Afterpay, all the buy now, pay later options. And if you don't think Squarespace is incredible yet, well, how about the fact that they gave me a code to give you for 10% off your first website or domain. So go get a discount on creating a website that will bolster your image as a professional. Really anybody can benefit from having an amazing website. So build it with Squarespace. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.